going to face unprecedented water shortages and far more water conflicts in the coming decades. Fossil fuel resources, especially oil, dominated the economics and politics of the 20th century. In the 21st century, conflicts are going to be largely about water. After all, one third of the world doesn't yet have access to clean drinking water. Hi, I'm Jerry Udelson, a green builder, water engineer, sustainability consultant, and author. I'm here to share with you how all of us working together can prevent or moderate future urban water crises. In the developed countries, we take water for granted. Yet recently, Australia faced extreme water shortages as river flows decreased as much as 80% in some places. Beginning in 2005, Australia endured the worst drought in its entire history. Everyone there had to learn new ways to conserve water, and new technologies were tried everywhere. The country responded with dramatic water conservation measures. In every large metro area, water use was cut to less than 40 gallons per day per person. By contrast, in the U.S., the average is 150 gallons. We have a long way to go. What can you do to cut urban water use? You actually can make a difference in your own home. If you took my household water quiz, you could see what you can do right where you live that's fun and cost-saving. At my home, we recycle gray water from the laundry for outdoor irrigation. We capture rainwater and use it for watering plants and trees. We use dual flush toilets and water conserving fixtures. You too can do all or some of this at your home or apartment. Take an audit of your water using habits and resolve to cut your use. Many cities are now promoting water conservation by changing out older toilets, faucets and shower heads with new models that use 50 to 80% less water. And in many U.S. cities, reclaim water from sewage is widely used for landscaping, parks, and golf courses. So here are the four R's for becoming a water wizard. Reduce, reuse, recycle, regenerate. We need to reduce water use through efficient fixtures and more conscious water practices. We can reuse rainwater and gray water that are currently wasted or flushed away. We can treat and recycle wastewater such as sewage for toilet flushing, irrigation, and even evaporative cooling. And we can regenerate our cities by stretching our water resources and building new homes and shopping centers and office buildings to be much more water saving. The four R's, reduce, reuse, recycle, regenerate. You can practice these four R's where you live, where you work and play, where you study, and where you pray. Let's all become water stewards today.